out here at the shop. I have my boy Swenson with me, as well as Justin behind the camera. Me and Swenson are going to be working back on the loft, as you guys saw in the last video. We started building this out, and we needed to uh, bring a saw out here so we can cut some of the panels down the size, of course. So we're going to be tackling that. And in the meantime, while we're out here as well, Justin is going to be working back on the Mustang. As we have a new mod, of course, uh, I'm not going to tell you guys about it yet. But we're going to be starting with removing the stock hood, and then we'll show you what we'll be replacing it with. If that didn't give it away, we are going to be installing a new hood on the car. So what I have over here is going to be the Cobra R hood for the 2015-17 to 17 S550 Mustangs. I personally like this hood over some of the other options, so that's why I obviously went with it. I'm going to put you guys on a time lapse. We're going to get the old hood off and then install the new one. Obviously we didn't go crazy into detail on fully fixating it to the car just yet because it does need to be painted and then when we get it painted we will actually fully line it up and get it properly put on. But I do have one more surprise for you as you all have might have noticed the rear bumper on this car has always had some blemishes on it. Um, when I actually got this one um, we didn't know that the tabs were broken on it so when we went to put it on the car we had this nice beautiful gap as well as it did have some blemishes on the rear sorry for the loud heater but as you can imagine i went and picked up a new rear bumper so what you'll be seeing next is i'm actually going to test fit it on there and then this is the last piece for getting painted so once we get this on there make sure it fits properly um, we'll get everything painted and then We'll have a nice reveal video of the car, 100%, one color, ready to rock and roll. properly as well as a new deck lid because Brian our painter was telling us that it was just gonna be a lot more time and money to fill those holes than it would be to just buy 
another used one. So we ended up tracking one down on Marketplace as well for 100 bucks. Test fitted it, everything fit perfectly fine because that was an OEM piece. And so uh, now we're taking the car over to paint. We got Riley in front of us, trailer and the Mustang, and I'm following behind with the race ramps and stuff. That way we can get everything unloaded. And by the end of this weekend, we will have a fully painted Mustang ready to go back together and uh, come out and be able to enjoy it for the summer. So Justin's super pumped. He's actually not with us today. He went up north with some friends. And so uh, we're trying to get this done. That way when he comes back, his car is ready to go and he can go out to some shows with us and actually get to enjoy it a little bit. So um, like I said, Riley's in front of me. We're heading over to the paint shop and I just can't wait to show you guys the transformation of this car now that it's gonna be painted. <laughs> Well, boys, we made it. drop the vehicle off at paint however now we're gonna dive in further and show you exactly what all we got done so jumping right off the bat as you see we have this super awesome Cervini Cobra R style hood absolutely love how it came out as far as temperature wise it really doesn't necessarily change it but it gives it a super sleek and sick look in my personal opinion as well as we never necessarily made a video on this but I did add some Morimoto headlights they had a super good deal at the time so i jumped on it so they were really what i wanted in the end goal and then the biggest thing you're going to see on the difference in the front here is i went back to the stock bumper versus the gt500 bumper i used to really like the gt500 bumper and then i really wanted to just go back to stock so i did the grill deletes and i couldn't be more happy with it yeah the grill delete came out really sick and then you also added the quick disconnects as well makes yes, it really so easy so the common s550 issue happened to me where you go to pull off the front bumper and the clips actually break so as you see you might see this on a whole bunch of different cars that's the reasoning why the tabs break and then you can't mount the bumper anymore so it's actually really nice to have the quick disconnects all you have to do is loosen up the six or eight on the bumper on the top up here underneath the cowl and then it comes right off you don't have to reach in there take the bolt out so yeah it really elim eliminates that and it's super nice and easy next up here the newest thing biggest change of the vehicle are going to be these four stars i drove all the way to illinois to pick these up and i think it was worth it i got them for 500 bucks so smoking deal compared to what they are they're probably two thousand dollar wheels and that's really what kind of delayed this video as well we were waiting to get those redone by our boys at quality pod coating and when we were getting the tires mounted one even got damaged and they quickly took care of that as well so if you guys need any powder coating yes. be sure to check them out check out brian shout out quality powder coat yeah they are they hooked man. us up for sure they did on and top then, of that you got them wrapped in some nice michelins you got a great deal on too right yes yeah, so i actually found those on facebook i think one of my buddies actually even sent them to me but got 305s in the rear and then 275s up front like dylan said got them for a great deal 550 dollars can't beat that's it that's about the price of one of the rear tires so that was a huge steal and then obviously finishing touches we got the badges on dylan was patiently waiting he got me those for christmas so i know he's very happy to see those on the vehicle yeah and it just kind of ties everything together we got the blue on the bremos now we got the banner stuff like that we even did those blue uh valve cover things in the engine yep, bay too so the covers on there kind of ties everything together yes moving to the back now jumping to the back we changed up the side markers. I have the clear side markers because actually when I was removing the previous bumper, 
um, for whatever reason, the connector actually just separated. So it wasn't actually gonna work anymore. So I got those, those look sick. And then biggest change back here is going to be the different style wing. I had the Roush one before that just came a little bit off the back. And I really liked the GT350, the GT500 uh, wing. Only difference, or not difference necessarily, only thing I would really like to do to it would be add the gurney flap. I think that would be a nice finishing touch. Yeah. But we got the wing on there. That's looking great. And then... As you guys remember, the yes, bumper. The bumper finally fixed, so... No, no more, more blemish. blemish. Oh, it's down there, yeah. No more blemish. No more blemish there. And then we finally have good fitment on the passenger yeah, side. Yeah, everything clips up. So that's all flush now. Doesn't hang off. Doesn't look like trash. So super happy about that. And I think that's pretty much does it really the biggest difference on the rear there's only a few things left i'd say i really want to do to the car which would be that gurney flap i'm thinking about maybe adding the gt500 side skirts just because it gives it that ground effects that i think a little more aggressive the side profile in yeah. nicely and then other than that i want to do like a borla exhaust eventually and and potentially switch out the roush for a paxton yep that would be like probably the last thing would be to sell the Roush blower and then the Paxton or a Vortec would be like the dream setup. And then this car will be 100% dialed and it will never be sold. All right, guys, that pretty much does it for today's video. Like Justin said, we got some things coming up here in the future that you guys may see this back on the channel with. But as of right now, that pretty much does it for today's video. If you liked it, please give us that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really will help us out and help make this channel bigger and better every day. But as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.